how to create a contour design like this in Affinity Designer. Now I'm going to use a circle, but you could use a star rectangle, perfectly reasonable. But just go over here to the ellipse tool, hold down the shift, and create a circle. Once you've done that, set the fill. You can set it to red. I'm going to remove it later, so it doesn't make any difference. Set the stroke. I'm going with black, but you can set it to blue, green, etc. Key thing is, set it to 7.5, 10, but go down here. Scale with object. That's the key thing. Make certain that is turned on if you want your stroke to decrease in size as you create multiple copies. Once you've done that, hold down the Alter Option key and duplicate by using the Move tool. So that's on the keyboard, Alter Option key, and just drag. And then you can resize it. Hold down the Shift if you want it proportional, and reposition it. And you can size it a little bit like that, makes sense, about there. You can always align it later if you want. Now use Power Transforms or Power Duplications. That's Command or Control J, again on the keyboard. And then you can just create these. And as you see, it just shrinks. That's the stroke. The stroke will decrease in size. Then go down too far and it becomes a bit too hard to see. So I'd suggest about there. Now select all of that using the Move tool. And then go to Layer and down to Expand Stroke. And that will separate the fill from the stroke. So Expand the Stroke. And you will then see over here you've got Layers. You've got the curves and you've got the ellipse. Now select one of the ellipses, it doesn't matter which one. Then go to select and select same and fill color. So fill color and now all selecting, now all the reds. So if you've got red somewhere else, that will also be selected. And then you can just delete it. So just click here and delete. So now you've got this design, it's just a fill, just a standard fill now. You can go to layer and geometry and merge curves. So with them all selected, or oh, any ones you want to select, use merge curves. And now they all become one single curve. So once you've got that, you can manipulate it, move it around, resize it. So you can just crunch it in like that, stretch it out. You can also go over here, on the layers panel, you've got down the bottom, you've got here warps. So click, and you've got, this is in version two. Version two of Affinity Designer. You go for arc horizontal, or maybe use one of the other ones. So click here, mesh, and you can distort it in other ways. So just distort the design. Now you can always go up here and none. So you can set it back, reset it. I'm just going to put it back to there. And also what you can do, hold down the alter option key again, and you can duplicate that design. Now you can also recolor it. So you don't have to have black. Maybe you decide, you know what, I want red, so or green, so you can set it to a different color. Also, effects. So you can just add some effects, maybe make it 3D. So add 3D, just change the radius. Maybe add a blur, outer shadow, etc. And then close. And of course, you can do many other things with designs. Also, you've got now, in version two, you've got this wonderful knife tool. So you can cut it in half or split it apart in multiple ways to create some very abstract designs. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you much.